Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, February 11th to the 12th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave today. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. All right, Leo. Let's see what up with my Leos for the next day. Please also note that time and energy are fluid, so feel free to switch up the rules as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles here, Leo, Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Chariots. So I'm going to get a message from the angels here before we begin. I'm hearing level out the playing field. And I'm also hearing doting on others will do you no good. And I almost feel like it's sort of um, a distraction for you, Leo. This doting on others, it's like you're doing it to distract yourself from something. What is level the playing field? Is it in love? Is in career? Okay, this is in regards to career. So mm, I'm feeling it's going to be something different for all of you. But level out the playing field. I'm not sure what that means to you, but hopefully that helps. Anything regarding love love is your nature Leo don't be afraid to utilize that to your advantage you do rule the heart so that makes sense so spirit, what I'm feeling is take advantage of that. And this, this may help you actually in work too, in career, as well as love. Interesting. Interesting, Leo. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So in relation to work, okay, you have the three of pentacles here, which talks about work, teamwork, building something with other people but you're not feeling very good about that right now. You may be, if this is a business that you're starting and it's not doing very well, you may be feeling uh, down and out. And this is the card of poverty. So it doesn't mean that you're in poverty, but you could be feeling like the business isn't making as much money as you thought, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe you feel being le you're being left out in the cold by others on the team. Um, yeah, I almost feel like for some of you, you may think about venturing off on your own here with the chariots, but if it's not venturing out on your own, it's, it's taking control in the situation in some manner, not control in, in a goic way. Because Leo, I believe you have an healthy, uh, a very healthy ego, right? For most of the Leos that I know, anyway. So I feel like whatever the situation is, you're just taking control, taking the reins of your life, and you want to steer it, right? You want to help steer it in the right direction. So if you feel this is not happening, um, as the team exists now, you're going to present something different. You're going to be very fair about it with the justice card here. 
Okay, you're going to be using your intuition. They just said you could meet, <laughs> okay, you could meet a twin that actually triggers this in you. And I don't believe that you know when you meet this person, you're not going to know it first. Uh, yeah, because I don't think you meet this person in person yet like in person. I feel it's over the internet. All right, let's do some clarity here regarding this. Okay, clarify this Three of Pentacles, please. This work situation for Leo. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're wanting, you're, you're feeling the rocky waters. You're feeling, well, rocky waters, the turbulent waters, right? You're feeling the waves and you don't like it. You don't like the way that it's making you feel. And I don't feel that you're blaming other people on the team. I don't think it's any one person's fault. It just sort of is what it is. King of Pentacles. So you're bringing out your practical side, okay? Um, I'm feeling that you are an emperor, right? So it's like, okay, it's time for the king of pentacles to emerge, right? Because the, the emperor is and um, the king of all of the kingdoms, right? And you fit that role perfectly. Come on. There we go. You fit that role perfectly, Leo. So let me uh, let me see about this Five of Pentacles. Why are you feeling this Five of Pentacles? The King of Swords. You may have had to cut your salary, and this is why you're feeling the Five of Pentacles. And it wasn't. You're not. Again, you're not blaming anybody. Um, it's just what's best for the company. Like if, if you own a company with a handful of people, it's like, it's what's best for the company. Everybody's taking a cut in some way. So clarify this chariot then. Clarify this chariot. The hair font. Yeah, there's something you're going to commit to. Um, it could be a Taurus. Okay coming into your life. Um, but the Hierophant talks about a higher spiritual calling, a spiritual connection, a commitment, but it's like you're taking the driver's seat in this situation and committing to this cause. You know, perhaps this is a spiritual business that you're dealing with, with the Hierophant here. And you're like, no, I don't give a shit about what's going on right now my well you do right you're like it'll eventually I'll, I'll figure it out but I have to stay committed to my purpose and that's what I feel the chariot is doing the chariot the card of cancer and the number seven which is a spiritual number now five is about change the hierophant which is good because I believe once you stick with this commitment uh, what do they say? It, a miracle occurs it's just when you're about to give up. It's always when the miracle occurs. And this is what I feel is happening. So clarify this justice. You are listening to your intuition. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Because I feel uh, along the way somewhere, you're coming into contact with um, a twin. <clears throat> it's not a twin. It is a soulmate from a past life. And like I said, there's a lot of love here, but it may just be business at first because that's what's on your mind. And I feel like this is why you don't see it at first. Well, one, I don't believe you meet in person at first. Um, not so strange in 2020. But two, uh, you're just so focused on your business right now, uh, understandably so, that... The recognition is not there. I do feel this other person does recognize it, but they also recognize that this is your focus. So they're not, they're not pushing anything. They're sort of waiting. They're like, okay, I'll wait. Yeah. 
see this is the fog this is the the seven of cups that's the fog it's sort of the veil that's over this connection right now okay but i do feel it's purposeful it's like spirit put this here purposefully so it's not just you it's like fate has a hand in this so what is your advice for leo regarding i want to get one for business one for love regarding business Regarding this business, what is your advice? Mm, meditates. Meditate. Four of swords. Care for you don't fall asleep, Leo. <laughs> you know, Leos love to sleep. But meditate. Connect with your intuition because I do feel you'll find answers there. Give me another card for business. The Empress. There's that Taurus card again. Taurus Libra. Expand. Connect with your intuition. Connect with nature. Okay, and do this in meditation. Keep the softness of the Empress alive while you're in this King of Pentacles mode. Because you are an Emperor or an Empress. Okay. All right, what is your advice for this love that's coming in? <laughs> another five five of wands don't be afraid of competition when it comes to this particular love but don't struggle too much in your mind about it as well I don't think you care about competition right as long as it's fair but don't miss this opportunity with the four of cups here I think you're, you, I feel like you will see this eventually and this person will still be there in your life. Yeah, because you have the Ten of Pentacles here and I feel like you're going to create a legacy with this person. You're going to create happiness, stability, right? This person is loyal as well. So are you, right? So there's a lot of power behind you and this person coming together, okay? Wow. Okay, Leo, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.